do find that people are just kind of sleepwalking through their life in that one in that manner. <laughs> For those who can't see this, I just pulled out my phone. Now I'm touching it. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, dopamine. Ooh, colors. <laughs> When you said "ooh shiny," reminded me of um, Lord of the Rings, my precious. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, when people you know, you see so many zombie movies, and people are like, "Oh, a zombie apocalypse!" It's like, okay, if there is a zombie apocalypse, it's right now. <laughs> it's people being glued to their devices and not being able to see the world around them. And yeah, it's like all those people who died walking onto the highway in or into incoming traffic searching for pokemon when pokemon go was the big oh, thing yeah. the pack, right yeah I, w- I was out of the country at the time so i didn't really see that but yeah it's like really like really <laughs> yeah it's it, almost everyone unless they have come across intentional people in their life and actually listened and actually take an action. Almost everyone is sleepwalking in some way or not. And even people that are intentional in some ways. You know, I like to think of myself as one of those people that's woken up and stopped being sleepwalking. And yet, you know, I've been glued to my device. You know, I'm sitting there with my wife on the couch and we're both just like doing whatever she's watching TikTok. I'm playing a game. And then it's like, wait a second, we're sitting here together. We're not even talking. What? Hey, you know improved that but you know even people like me who's like yeah i want to improve my life i want to increase the happiness of me and those around me i want to radicalize and improve upon the relationships i have even me who knows all these things i still have habits and paradigms and attitudes where i just completely get it wrong i'm working on those but yeah like if to me it's like okay if someone that is working on it is still sleepwalking in senses how much are those people that aren't working on it (laughs) well how does how does one person um try to work on those obstacles that's preventing them from filling their dreams because i would probably argue and correct me if i'm wrong um, you've probably gone through that. I know I've gone through that. Um, we've listed a number of things that have been created and popularized in the last few years that has played a significant impact on us not completing our dreams, not you and I specifically, just people in general. Mm-hmm. But what advice would you give to someone who maybe have these obstacles and they can't control them because, it's, because they're allowing it to control themselves? Yeah. I don't think there's a one fix solution, but here's some ideas. I know this one helped me a ton. Um, Sometimes it's your technology just all of a sudden stops working (laughs) and you don't fix it. And then you have to discover something else to do. Um, For example, growing up, uh, when was this? I was probably 15 at the time, give or take three years, because I'm not entirely sure what's happened. (laughs) But my parents' TV stopped working. Well, kind of. It started giving a warning saying, hey, the lamp's going out. Give me some maintenance. And my parents are like, well, just stop watching it as much and only watch it for like movies or like, you know, very special programs. And so we're like, okay. So I stopped being glued to the TV for, you know, six, seven hours a day. Boom. Well, what I do instead, a lot of it, I picked up reading. (laughs) 